On November 10th, 2023, Comet C 2023 H2 Lemon will be at its minimum distance from Earth, passing only 30 million kilometers away from our planet. On that day, the comet will reach its maximum brightness, becoming one of the best comets visible this year. It will also move at an incredible speed, traversing the distance of the full moon's disk in just one hour. Therefore, carry on watching this video in order to find out when and how to see this comet in your area and if it's gonna be visible to the naked eye. I promise, will be very interesting. Hi there, Mikhailo is here. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is a comet? Comets are celestial bodies composed of ice, dust, and rocky material that orbit the sun in an elongated or elliptical path. When a comet approaches the sun, ice starts vaporizing, creating a glowing tail that points away from the sun due to the solar wind. These so-called dirty snowballs can be pretty big. The average size of a typical comet nucleus can range from about a few hundred meters to several kilometers in diameter. You certainly wouldn't want this thing to fall in your city. The comet that we're talking about in this video, specifically C2023H2 Lemon, is no different. It was discovered in April 2023 by the Mount Lemon Survey in Arizona using a 1.5 meter telescope. This comet follows a rare very inclined and long 3880 year orbit so next time you'll be able to see this comet um never the comet already reached its closest point to the sun on october 29th passing just 135 million kilometers away from it however the best time to see this comet is only yet to come on November 10th, the comet will pass at a mere distance of 30 million kilometers away from our planet, making the first half of November the best time to see this celestial body. As I mentioned earlier, the comet will be moving at a remarkable speed of one full moon disk per hour, making its movement easily noticeable against the stellar background through small telescopes. Speaking about telescopes, the comet will be visible through the smallest telescopes and even binoculars on the day of its closest approach. Naked eye visibility of the comet is potentially possible but very unlikely. If you really want to try to see this object, just go to a very dark area with minimum light pollution. The comet should look like a fuzzy tiny cloud fixed in one location. But once again, it's very unlikely that it will reach the naked eye visibility. The easiest way to find out the current location of the comet is to visit this website. After following the link in the description and scrolling down, you can click on this online planetarium, which will show you the location of the comet. You just need to put your location by clicking here. And after doing that, you can see the location of the comet depending on the time of the day. The general location of the comet on November 10th in the Northern Hemisphere is this. It becomes visible in the western part of the sky at dusk and then slowly ascends beneath the horizon by midnight. It follows the same path in the Southern Hemisphere, even though there it goes beneath the horizon a few hours earlier compared to the northern part of our planet. When viewed through binoculars, the comet appears as a fuzzy cloud looking something like this. Depending on the size of your instrument and the severity of light pollution in your area, the comet will look brighter or dimmer through telescopes. Thanks to the comet's rapid velocity, you will also be able to notice how the comet moves in front of the stars in the background in less than an hour. As the comet brightens, it becomes a more photogenic object for astrophotographers so those lucky people with fancy astro cameras and DSLR cameras, it's your time to shine. If you don't have any fancy equipment whatsoever, no worries. You can always try to capture pictures of the comet using your phone camera, which of course won't turn out to be very beautiful, but it's still worth trying. Using small telescopes and your phone camera, you may get pictures that look something like this. I suggest you skip the default phone camera app 
and opt for ProCam X. This app provides you with advanced control over exposure and other settings, significantly improving your camera's performance. After November 10th, this remnant of the early solar system will leave the inner planets and make its way out potentially even further away than the Kuiper Belt. A region in the outer solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune that contains a multitude of small icy objects and dwarf planets just like this comet. Therefore, take advantage of peak visibility during the first half of November since it will be visible to both broken stargazers and experienced astronomers. Comet C2023 H2 Lemon is an astronomical gem that you won't want to miss. In any case, don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order to see more videos on space and astronomy. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.